which just gives you a little bit of insight into the mentality of how Memphis likes to play defense. And Shea, a little blow by, got right by Anderson and up to the rim. Unfair though, Michael, when you get a matchup like this. Well, anytime you get a guy out there playing defense on an island, and that time he was by himself. Hoku finds the open man. Quick trigger three from Muscala, who's on target, just a little too much club. You see the Thunder getting back defensively. Poku is trying to front Steven Adams. There's a pass intercepted by Shea. And we love what he brings from TCU. Excellent shooter from the outside. Five-point game with under two to go. Shea's going to bounce off of Brooks, take the contact, and score the bucket. Nice move. Bain looking for a screen. Got it. Steps back. Oh, in and out, no good. Baisley finds the open man. Getty, catch fire three in the corner, and that is good. As Shea spins, realized that Adams was waiting for him, had to pull up the shot, pull the trigger, shot clock under one. Got it up in time, and that gives OKC its first lead of the night until this shot as Shea, just a quick peek on the other side of the floor, Mike Lee saw his shot clock was under one. And, and why not with and, a quick release? And the coaching staff was hollering at him to shoot it. Stop turning the ball over from the first half. Now you, you got the Grizzlies chasing the ball game here. Oh, Moran picked by Dort. Sends it over the Thunder with numbers. It's going to be SGA on the break. Michael are doing a great job. As you see that forced turnover. And we're starting to see a little more aggression here in the second half of John Moran. But Shea, he's got a little aggression of his own, just completely dismissing that Memphis defense. We need scores. Well, Shea said, I I'm doing the same thing here. Get by your big man. Those two could give you a clinic on how to get to the rim and how to finish at the rim. They are excellent. Robinson Earl on the flare out, the open three, and he bottoms it. Robinson Earl from the outside. He wants to get into the three-point action. I mean, watch this flush out, man. He's just hanging back here trying to stop SGA from driving. Make him pay the price. Knock him down to three. And the rookie gives it back to his fellow rookie. Just the biggest lead of the game for the Thunder at six. Dort finds himself open on the corner as he loops one in from downtown. Bain looking to make it two in a row. And Poku skies for that rebound. Shea trying to get out on the run, pushes it up right there, put it on a platter for Darius Baisley on the alley-oop. Well, this is a happy melody. Gilgis Alexander to, to Baisley. Well, you like that because that's just more transition points. You had 10 at the halftime. <laughs> Shea right down Main Street, using his speed with the handles. And Shea wants to run. Floor spread out. Shea sidesteps and scores in transition. What a beautiful move. Uh, just great defense. Great collapse. Nice pass inside. Shea finds the open man. It's Getty for the wide open layup. OKC a lead. Memphis came back down, scored a bucket. This was the last. And then the Grizzlies have to foul you or try to, you know, dislodge it. Well, look at oh, this here. Backdoor cut. Everybody fell asleep. And Getty with the dime. Right to Shea. Interesting that the rookie Aaron Wiggins defending Desmond Bain. Is Morant triggers it in and the pass got picked off by Shea. Shea, two on one, is gonna get fouled by Morant. It's Memphis, known for the steals, but the Thunder. And the biggest defensive play of the night comes from Shea, stealing it on the out of bounds pass. And All right, here we go, underway, OKC has it. Our officiating crew tonight, Bill Kennedy, Dedrick Taylor, and Fennessey Ransom. First shot on the way, and it's in there by Lugens Dort. Give it over to Gordon. He sets. He fires the three. No good. And Robinson Earl with the rebound. Jeremiah Robinson Earl likes to be called JRP as the layup is good by Shea Gilgis Alexander. Back in the day. Gilgis Alexander has it knocked away for a second, and they leave him alone, and he lays it in. Well, he tries to grab the ball and kind of swipe at it. Only five and ten here at the Paycom Center. In the lane, and dropping it up and in, J-R-E. Now in the lane, little bank shot is good. SGA, Shea Gilgis Alexander. 
Gordon's on the move. Loose ball. Baku volleyballs it. And it'll stay with Denver. Got it down below that free throw line into the paint. I just don't think Oklahoma City can stay with him in the paint. Instead, it's Oklahoma City doing that right there. 43 to 34, OKC on top. Nuggets coming into this game as a six and a half point favorite, but OKC is scoring at will. Back and forth we go. Nuggets are back to within five. Gilgis Alexander drops it home. Yeah, and they're just screening the top guy. Within four now. 47 43. And that just is tried by right on court. Gilgis Alexander. Now, once the crowd moved it oh. off. And he gets it back! A green challenge and then just faded out. Spun right here, the crowd knew he was going to shoot. Not a great shot, but the ball kicks right back to him. Green had left, and now it's just an easy. Gilgis Alexander, Favors has got a little bunny, and he knocks it in. We talked about in the open, that, that mid-range is where he's lived lately. Yeah, and he's really good at it. 55-50. Now a little floater, that's good. Jay can control the ball. The lowest scoring team in the league. Morris again, that's no good. SGA on the run. By Barton, lay it up and in. Basket counts foul. They just see somebody in front of Barton just backs up, backs up. Not a lot of contact, but enough. Had a lot of assists, a lot of easy baskets early doing that. Here we go again. Gilgis Alexander lay it up and in. Just straight by Barton. Penetration point. Favors. And Favors knocks it in. Always been good at that little mid range jump shot game, had Woods now. The Nuggets leading score with 12 as Favors drops another one in. So more points in the paint, and the Nuggets just can't seem to stop. 21,645 career points for the great Alex English. So Michael Malone has had it with his starters well, they, they, going they, to the bench yeah, completely here. Spectating. The score by his bad of the Minnesota game. And inside Derek Favors. Yep, former teammates there. And Baisley is wide open, lays it in. But again, a good penetration by... So it's not always this first drive. It's nice. He one, two, three bodies in there. Weak side does it. And they keep pushing here. Second teamers have done well. Lou Dort. And he hits. Big shot there. So it was five on four here. And then they give an and one. Or they're going to say it was on the floor. Kind of tough, though. right now having a lot of passes deflected. Wiggins had it taken away by one of the great steel men in the history of the NBA. Bridges was blocked by SGA. And Shea once again runs into eight. And you see Michael, his presence, he's so big, so large. But Shea able to pull him out. And, and look how he just freezes for a second, surveys the defense, and he knows he's already got it. Aiden in his pocket. He's just waiting for the defense to make a mistake. That time they look the other way, moving the defense and cutting to the basket. There's the flare out, and Shea finds Robinson Earl. That's the play that they've been utilizing. Stick with what you're doing. Here's Shea collapse, collapsing the defense. You got black shirts collapsing on him. Mikhail Bridges losing a basketball that went toward JaVale McGee's way. As SGA bounces off the body of Johnson, steps back and shows the touch. As Shea just looking to break down that Phoenix defense, does so with a nice drive, goes right at Johnson again. This time a little flick with the left hand. By the way, OKC will take it. Nobody from Phoenix is complaining. As Shea drives left hand, went right at Crowder, able to put it up and in. The Thunder have really made Phoenix feel him here in the second quarter as Shea goes right into the mid-range, into the body of Booker, and he's got himself another deuce. In the second quarter, they have slowed the Suns' offense to a grinding halt. Oh, Shea, what a drive. Went by his former teammate. Made him so good over the course of his career. As Muscala, the trail three for the lead. Mike Muscala from downtown. 
Thunder ended the, the half on a 31-13 run, Michael. And they're going to add to it on the first play here in the third quarter. Beautiful bounce pass as SGA finds the rookie Giddy. And the Thunder have been able to maintain the success from the second quarter here. This is the early couple of minutes of the third quarter. Shea's going to let it go from three, and he's got it. The Thunder are getting some attention here, Michael, in this second and third quarter. Runner just need to see the ball go through. Settle back down to this one. Shea trying to do it and does on the baseline. Stop and pop. And he can get to the bucket and get in the rim and elevate as well. Otherwise, when there was a question whether or not he was an all-star. Shea uses his speed, blows right by the defense, got up to the rim. He's got 23 with 7.40 left to go. As Robinson Earl, he from three again as he's got himself his second three of the night. As the Thunder just continue to run that same action. 11-point deficit for the Thunder. Shea going to work on his former teammate outside. Giddy, his three is going to drop in. And Josh Giddy's got his first triple of the night. Here's the matchup that Shea was looking for. Has eight not him. Oh, nice move. Fires it back up to Robinson Earl. That's good. Thunder keep giving it to the top to Robinson Earl. Now it's Crowder's turn to defend Shea. He'll step back on the three and knock it down. A very tough shot for Shea. Oh, it's coming off something that's really not been there all game. The three-pointer It's not how you make it as winning. Oklahoma City looking to build on an early five-point lead. Just over two minutes gone by. Short on that three for the rookie from Villanova, Jeremiah Robinson Earl. The long outlet pass and a steal. It's 11 straight points now for the Thunder, who opened up a double-digit lead on the pick and roll. Hernan Gomez is blocked inside. With Jonas Valanciunas out, illness non-COVID related. A drive inside. That's what he does. That's what he does. This is too easy for a guy that's this good. Operating on the block, oh. Billy Hernan Gomez, hey. nice spin dribble, but weak side help comes over, block shot, Gilgis Alexander. That's the second time Billy's got to the, he's got to the rim. Hayes went seven of eight games without playing, but the injury situation of Alan Chunas elevated him in the rotation for 16 minutes against the Magic on Thursday, as it's a smooth drive and score by Gilgis Alexander. Which denies an opportunity for right. the Pelicans to get a shot, who have improved to 47% shooting here in the second quarter, 7 of 15 for the floor. And not only do they not get a shot off, but the turnovers are converted at the other end. And by the way, is there a case for an offensive basket interference with that Wiggins move a moment ago as the Moose, Mike Mascala, pulls up and hits an open jumper from the free throw strike? We constantly talk about closing, closing quarters. Great pass, great block. Gilgis Alexander blocked Herb Jones, loose ball, Gort first to it. Right now it's the Thunder who have a chance to close the corner with a little burn. Before that, Hernan Gomez had made his first four free throw attempts tonight. Drive in reverse by Shea you, Gilgis it's Alexander. It's going to be tough to keep him out the lane. Tag the big man's feet. Jump ball was controlled by Oklahoma City, and a leaping leaner bounces in for Shea Gilgis Alexander. Such a faster pace, and when a big man gets the rebound, it has to turn and look for the outlet. And here is a drive and a weave through the defense and a slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. One of the last men standing in terms of a leadership perspective. Hart, and here is Gilgis Alexander way off balance, and, the and thing he throws is, it up and scores. Among guards and points in the paint. You have to give him space. You have to understand where he's trying to get to. Now, if he wants to step back and knock down a 30-foot jump shot. A six-point game after the Herb Jones three-point play, and now it's the rookie from Bama defending Gilgis Alexander. He's going to go to work for a post-up, and he'll That's shoot and fade away for the baseline. That is pretty. Very, very early. That's the only time the Pelicans have been in front. After that, the Thunder went on a 15-0 run. They led by as many as 17 Settle. as a Mescala three settles home. That's the guy that you cannot leave open. Dort on the floor. Hart nearly swiped it. Gilgis Alexander in a 1v1 against Garrett Temple. will shoot that's a step back three. Give up. That's the shot you have to give up against him. Well, it's clutch time. It's defined by the NBA. Last five minutes, five-point game. Ace challenges the Wiggins tonight, three Wiggins to steal it. Wiggins has been the difference in this game tonight. They unwrapped themselves a Christmas present, that's for sure. They did not wake up Christmas morning thinking 20 points were coming from Aaron Wiggins tonight. 
Devontae Graham drives and has it blocked. Still Thunder Bowl. Isolated left side of the floor. Gilgis Alexander around her Jones to drive and score. Boxes and elbows are important. Swinging your arm out there is not enough. Jay Gilgis Alexander is too talented. A stop imperative right now for the Pelicans' hopes of coming back in the game. Gilgis Alexander, though, shakes free for the step back jump.